Hey, how's it going? Bergen here with another outdoor painting video. In this one, I'm showing you how I made a painting from the top of this hill. It's in the middle of spring here, and even the pine trees seem more green. It takes about 20 minutes to get to the top, which gives an awesome view of the surrounding area. From this point, you can see the coastal and Cascade Mountain ranges, but in this piece, I'm just going to be focusing on the coastal range. It was quite windy up here, which can be a problem when painting, but I found a solution. So I've tied my easel to my backpack using this little piece of rope that's attached to it. And that's what I'm doing because it's keeping it nice and sturdy instead of blowing in the wind. The first thing I do is I pick out an area I think would make a good composition. I spend a minute making a quick sketch, which helps me know where to place everything. I then use browns and blues to tone the canvas and to capture the dark and light areas. Now I can start laying down paint on the canvas. As always, I start with the furthest thing back and work my way forwards. The clouds are constantly moving, which makes capturing them a challenge. I increase the greens and brightness as I work my way forward to create depth. Now it's onto the pine trees. These are the darkest areas in the composition, so I use a dark green as the base color. This was made from combining phthalo green, sap green, and alizarin crimson, which makes a really dark color. The pines to the right aren't as dark, so I use more green than red when mixing this color. This angled brush I'm using lets me cover a lot of space quickly and also make detailed marks like the top of these pines. With a touch of lemon yellow and titanium white, I add highlights to the trees. I want to capture the full range of color I see in these trees, so I darken up the areas that receive less light. The last thing to do is to paint the grass. This green is going to be the brightest and most saturated in the painting as it's the closest to the viewer and it's directly in the light. The meadow isn't all the same shade of green. I make sure to add in variations where it's more brown or more yellow. Places I want to make less green, I use red to desaturate. I include the walking path with some burnt umber. Finally, I add in one last pine and make some adjustments to the grass. With that, the painting's done. Up close, you get a much better idea of the range of colors and detail in the painting. Doing that quick sketch at the beginning and toning the lights and darks made painting this a piece of cake. Just as I was packing up, I was surprised by a bright sunset. Alright, thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed the video and want to see more, leave a comment and subscribe.